going live. I'm live. What's up, family? How y'all doing? I'm y'all see my 20k? <laughs> How y'all doing? Good evening. So glad that you guys are here to join me on this wonderful celebration. And you know what? It just dawned on me. The theme should be never, ever give up on yourself. No matter what obstacles life throws at you, keep pushing, keep striving, keep taking one step forward with the Lord on your side and you will overcome. Definitely. But like I said, this is a party. So I'm going to make a butt out of myself and we're going to dance because it's celebration time. <laughs> Y'all yeah, come on, y'all. Y'all wanna party? Even when it don't feel right, you know I'm a party with her. We just with gonna do one song, one song, one song. She be calling on a Monday, wanna meet on Tuesday, asking me to fix me up, relax. And I don't know how to dance. She wants to take that Tell her me to bring the stuff I like I don't want to let it down So I'm telling her yes Though I'm kind of down from the pain in my chest Come on, y'all, join me I'm feeling right now I get from the stuff I know she likes I've been trying my life Every day of the weekend When my baby works on it Always down, never weak, yeah. No, I love it too much. But I just can't Let me know if y'all can hear everything, okay? Put a one in the chat. Let me know y'all can hear. Is it too loud? Yeah, don't feel proud. All right, come on, y'all. I hope y'all get enough dance. Don't make me dance by myself. Oh, yeah. Even when it don't feel good, you know I'm a party with you. I'm gonna watch this later and be like, oh my goodness. We be chilling on the Wednesday, slept until it's Thursday. She don't want to leave me, not just yet. Told me all about it. I don't even know the word. But she went on crazy. Didn't go to bed till Saturday. I don't want to go with her to her. Hey! She broke my heart in a million ways. Better put it on the phone. 20K! I'm celebrating y'all too! I've been trying to learn. Every day of the weekend, when my baby was up, always down at the weekend. No, 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 Even when it don't feel right, yeah. You know I'm a party with her, with her all the time. Even when it don't feel right. Oh, it went off. Okay, we done with the song. <laughs> I can't believe I did that, y'all. <laughs> Whew. I'm hot. That was fun. But hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. One more surprise. <laughs> okay. I always wanted to do this. <sighs> always wanted to do this. So here's to 20,000 subscribers. <laughs> Woo! My God. Did y'all even see that? Because it went all the way over there. <laughs> Anyways, to 20,000 subscribers, here we go. <laughs> I've always wanted to do that. That was kind of scary. <laughs> Whew, sounded like a gun. Woo, hoo, hoo, hoo. Anyhow, whew, let me catch my breath. Oh, y'all. That was fun. <sighs> y'all know I'm out of shape, so. <clears throat> All right. 
How are you guys doing today? Hi guys. Hi guys. I hope you grabbed your drink because uh, I got mine. <laughs> I got mine. Gonna have a little wine because it's about that time. <laughs> Anyways, let me give some shout outs here. We got how many people? 132 people in the room. Yes, and as you come in the room, go ahead and hit that thumbs up, hit that like button. <clears throat> Who we got in here? Whew. I'm out of breath, y'all. Diane Stone, good evening to you as well. Latoya, Ruby, um, P P R Brokeman. <laughs> Don't got to bring. I don't know what that means. Thank you, Cynthia Lipsy, for saying congratulations. Welcome to the room. Carol Jones, welcome to the room. Tracy, welcome. Sheila Thompson, welcome to the room. Y'all, was y'all dancing with me or was I dancing by myself? <laughs> Thank you, guys. We got Valerie in the room. Thank you, Valerie, for joining the family. Yes, yes, yes. I am just a happy person. I'm just really at a good point in my life. And even though I went through the things I went through in my life, you know, I got through it. And it wasn't me by myself. It was me. And I'm going to bring God up in this equation because without him, I could not have done it alone. <sighs> Thank you, Most High. Hallelujah. Thank you. <clears throat> Yes. Hi, guys. So, um, <laughs> sip. Hold on. I haven't even ate dinner yet, so that'd be the only glass I have. Um, Shanita says, "Thanks. Just have to get organized. I have way too much stuff, honey. I understand. I understand all of that. And 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 what's funny is I got rid of a lot of stuff." And then when I moved in here, I was like, girl, you still got a lot of stuff. <laughs> but it takes time, you know, one day at a time. You can't, my mom used to always tell me Rome was never built in one day. And it definitely wasn't built by one person. So, which means anything that we strive for in life takes time. Be patient with yourself. Tiny Fairy says, I have been here since the beginning. So proud of you. Thank you so much. That means so much to me. So much to me, guys. And, you know, when I first started this channel, I had no idea what I was getting myself into. None. I just figured, well, first, I really wanted to talk about God. But something came over me and it was like, no, that's not my that wasn't for me. Okay. That wasn't my purpose was to talk about God to others. So I just decided to share my lifestyle. And here we are, what, two years, two and a half years later, 20,000 subscribers. Hey, and you know, I'm happy with my 20,000, baby. I am so blessed and so happy that you guys have taken a liking to my videos, to my personality, to the things that I share. I try to keep it real without jeopardizing my morals, my standards, and my values, and my beliefs. And I just share the light that I get and the things that I learn in life with you all and with the world, you know? So what you see on camera it's the same me that you will see off camera. I may cuss a little bit here and there, you know. Yeah, I don't show that I smoke cigarettes at all, but because I'm not trying to advertise that because I don't want to mm -mm, encourage that. <laughs> but I, I just, I never imagined that I would be here where I am today with 20,000 subscribers still counting and actually enjoying what I do. I love what I do on YouTube. I get inspired by you guys. I let the spirit inspire me. 
and I just share my journey. And <clears throat> I'm I, twenty thousand people like me, and I'm just like, oh, girl, oh, hey. no. <laughs> Congratulations, says Unique Neck. Thank you. I love your videos. Keep them coming. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I wish I had a, what do you call them, moderators? I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I really don't know how to do that. That can type stuff on there um, while the lives are going. Maybe I'll have to look into how to make that happen. Um, v. Frazier says, uh, she really likes my content. Thank you so much. I get my a lot of my inspiration of videography <laughs> comes from other YouTubers. I watch a variety of different other YouTubers, not just van life, lifestyles, cooking, just, you know, I just watch a different, and I watch how they film, how they cut, how they edit. I pick up things from other people because, you know, in the world that we live in, we all need each other. It's just what it is, you know? We all can learn from one another. And Brittany, you can be a moderator. How do you, I don't know how to do that, girl. <laughs> Why don't you send Brittany, send me an email at abiyabenyeh at yahoo.com. Send me an email because maybe you can teach me something because I don't even know how to add a moderator. So <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Hi, Mary LaVita. Thank you, Mary. She's been with me for a while as well. Yes. So, guys, get your sparkling water, your coffee, your tea, your wine, your beer, whatever you drink. That's your business. <laughs> I can't believe I got on here and dance, y'all. That's that is crazy. That is so crazy. <laughs> so the other day, I went to my mailbox. Now, I don't reg normally check my mailbox all the time because I don't really get a lot of mail there. But um, I did go check my mailbox yesterday, and I got some gifts that I'm going to open up with you all today. I'm glad these things are not like those little bitty confetti things. I got three gifts. I got three gifts and a letter. Okay. I got a letter. And we're going to open this up because my nephew is going to watch this video. And he sent this to me. <laughs> he is five or six years old. Yeah. So let's 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 see what my nephew sent his auntie. So, Eddie, if you're watching this, I got your letter. Let's see. Okay, so he made the envelope. <laughs> oh, no, he did not. You guys remember these things? Oh, my goodness. Remember these? <laughs> How do you, did he make it right? Remember these things? Back in school, where you used to do that. Oh, my goodness. Okay, he didn't write any letters. It just got colors in it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay, I love it. I love it. Thank you, nephew. I love you. And, guys, <clears throat> I am actually leaving out of town in two days. <laughs> I'm not packed. So, yeah. I'm not packed. I'm actually going to Atlanta, Georgia to visit my sister because me and my sister may be working on something and I need her help because there's another, I think there's going to be an online activity that I want to do with you guys. Okay. So me and her are going to meet up about that. So here is my first gift. Look, y'all. I don't know what they are. I, you should have saw me because I had this at home yesterday and I couldn't open it. Yeah. So hopefully I know who it's from. Hopefully there's a card in there. 
you know what? I'll be right back, guys. I got to grab a knife or some scissors. Be right back. Okay, got a knife. Now, I think these gifts are from my Amazon wish list. So, yay! Let's see. The, oh! This is that that drying rack. Uh, yes, it's a drying stone where you set like your your dish rag or something on it or something, and it prevents the water from like just leaking all over everywhere, and it dries on this stone. Thank you so much. Is there did, did it say who it's from? From Jeff Mitchell, enjoy your gift. Love seeing you, seeing you, um, seeing us black folks enjoying life and growing and moving on. From Jeff Mitchell, thank you so much. I appreciate it. He got me two things, guys. Two things. Let's see what this is. Oh, that's the table runner. Oh, oh, yes, that is gorgeous. Ah! Yeah, let me show you. Okay, this is the table runner that I wanted for my kitchen table, my dining room table. Isn't that cute? I'm just loving this, like, I don't know, what is it, boho type home decor stuff? I really like it. It's like earthy tone. It reminds me of the earth. That's why I like him so much. Thank you so much. I'll be putting that out on the table ASAP for sure. Thank you, Jeff. I appreciate you. Okay. We have another one. And we're not going to have a long, long, long life because I know it's the weekday. People got to go to work. People got kids to feed, grandkids to feed, dogs to take out to poop. I understand. <laughs> I understand. So here is a gift from Sherry Edwards. This is from Sherry Edwards. Thank you, Sherry. Order and return information inside. Okay. A gift for you. Okay. She didn't leave a note. Well, this is from Sherry. Let's see what this is. Or maybe there's a note right here. Enjoy your gift. Can y'all see? Enjoy your gift, it says. like a kid. Well, Lord, can you open it? There we go. I like that bag. Candles. I love it. I love it. I love it. This is Yankee candles. Oh, let's open them. Because I burn candles in my apartment now all the time. All the time. I love the smell, the scents of the candles. The aesthetics it gives. Let's see the candle. Here is the candle. 
girl, girl, girl. I don't know if y'all can see this. Can y'all see that? Balance and harmony. Come on. Oh, it smells good too. Oh, that smells so good. Mmm. Soy wax blend with essential oils. Oh, lovely candle. Thank you so much, Sherry. Thank you. I love it. Thank you. Okay, we got one more gift. Okay, one more, one more, one more. And then I'm going to read some comments. I just really, really appreciate all of you so, so much. Really, I do. Okay, this says congratulations on your new place and all the best on your new beginnings. Blessings, loving life 143 from Sammy. Thank you, Sammy. I appreciate that. Ah, yeah. If y'all want to send me a gift too, you know, like my Amazon wish list is in the description box of every video, <laughs> along with the address. Oh, you got me the queen size sheet. Oh, yes. Y'all have no idea how much, how badly I needed this. Okay, badly. Because when I moved in my apartment, I never had a queen size bed, never. When I lived with my ex-husband, we had a king. And then when I lived in the van, I had a narrow twin and a cot. So when I bought a queen size bed for my apartment, I had no comforter, I had no sheets, I had to get all of that. And I now, now I have three sets of sheets, but I still only have one comforter. And so there is a comforter on my wish list. It's purple because that's my favorite color. Oh, thank you. I'm not going to open the package up. Oh, I love that color. Ooh. Thank you, Sammy. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I really needed this, y'all. I really did need this. Y'all have no idea. That way I ain't got to run to the laundromat all the time because my apartment does not have washer and dryer in it. Thank you for the gifts. I truly appreciate it. And like I said, I don't check my mailbox all the time. So I normally will check it maybe once a month. Um, that's just what it is. Check it once a month. But let's get into what you guys are talking about. Yeah, soy wax candles are the best. Oh, we have another Abiyat. Oh, Abiyat, you're so real. Hey, girl, what's up? How you doing? Shalom. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Let's see what we got. Uh, Granny Productions, it's beautiful. Thank you. Tony Brown wants to be a homesteader. A homesteader, yeah. Oh, purple is your favorite color. That's the name of your, your page. Okay. <laughs> I like the way you've decorated your apartment, says Son Sonia. Thank you very much. Um, I got a lot of inspiration from YouTube, from Pinterest, and um, my price, <laughs> my budget, you know? So that's where I got a lot of my inspiration. And I didn't want like dark furniture. I just didn't want anything dark because I was just, I, I want light, light, airy, comfortable, home feeling, a chill spot that gets you in the vibe, get you in the mood, that relaxes you, that, that, that ignites my creativity. Yes. Now that spare bedroom, I still got to get that room together, that room. <sighs> yes. And one of the major problems with that other room is that I have so much camping stuff where like, I just don't know what to do with it. <laughs> I thought about maybe renting like um, a really small storage unit just to put all of my camping stuff in there, but I don't know. That's like an extra bill. Do I really want to pay that? But it definitely will free up a lot of room in there because I got a lot of camping stuff and all my camping stuff is in there. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. 
So we have 258 people in the room. Thank you for joining. Thank you for being here. We have 160, 86 likes. Thank you so much. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you so much for being here. And if you are not subscribed to the journey, go ahead and subscribe now. Join the family. Join the fun. And if you are subscribed, just make sure you're still subscribed, okay? <laughs> Just in case, because you know how YouTube be. Sometimes it will unsubscribe you and you wouldn't even know. Okay. So do you guys like to sip and paint? That's what I'm thinking about doing. I'm going to just say it, okay? I want to live stream a sip and paint party with you all and have you guys join in on the live stream. So we can see each other, talk to one another while we sip and paint. That's what me and my sister are going to discuss and talk about because she sells um, pre-drawn canvases. Yeah. <laughs> so that's where I get most of all of my canvases from is her. Okay, families, let's hit that 50,000. You know, if the most high willing, he'll let it happen. He will let it happen, most high willing. You know, I put everything in his hands. Honestly, I do. <laughs> and I was thinking about that last night, like, okay, Avia, like you, he's gotten you this far and I've been neglecting my scriptures lately. I have, and I think I'm getting a kick, like, okay, I got you this far, uh, don't forget about me now, so I need to get back into my studies and my scriptures and my meditations, and just getting back to reconnecting with the Most High, because we don't want to just call on Him when we're in need, you know, or when we're feeling down, we want to call on Him even when we're up. So let's see. Amen. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, y'all have no idea. There's things I haven't told y'all what he's done for me. There's things, and that's between me and him, but whew, yeah, he's, he's wonderful. He's wonderful. And I want to remember that and give him praise and thanks all the time. Teresa Cruz says, I don't normally comment, but I have to congratulate you on 20,000. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, guys. I really do. You guys mean so much to me. Your comments, your support, your suggestions, your, your inspiration. You guys are the best. I, I mean, I, <laughs> you guys are my family. You're part of my family and you guys are the best. So I, I really want to thank you guys with all of my heart for all of your support, your continued support, your comment engagement. You know, even when I need to be redirected on some things, y'all got me, y'all. I mean, I don't know. What was up with the sink? On my last video, they, people was leaving comments talking about my water. <laughs> I was like, what are they talking about? I had to go back and watch the video. <laughs> like, what are they talking about? Well, I don't pay by the drip. I have one monthly fee. So no matter how much water I use in my apartment, it's already paid for. In case y'all want to know, because I do have a bad habit of leaving the water running and leaving the refrigerator door open. Bad habit. Yes. Um, all things biblical. We all have a story to tell. Yes, we do. We all have a story to tell. And I, I mean, I can go back to my childhood. <laughs> okay. Cause I should be messed up in the head, but I'm not because that's not the path that God has for me. Thank you so much, PR Brokeman, for your, um, super chat, your 999 super chat. Thank you so much. But yeah, that's one thing that I will say that van life and being out on my own the way that I was for two years is it taught me how to be very humble, how to be grateful, how to survive 
off very little. I mean, even not just materialistic things, even little money. <laughs> you know, I, I wasn't making a whole lot of money. You know, I wasn't, but I knew how to serve. I learned how to survive out there. And it taught me how to be humble. It put me in a place of solitude, isolation, and out in nature. And it's all things that reconnected me to the most high and to my inner child self. And it was, it's a priceless experience. And I think that anyone that has a liking towards that lifestyle or whether it's part-time or full-time or, you know, do it. Give yourself that opportunity to escape from your everyday responsibilities, your everyday hustle and bustle, even escape from your kids. If you got to escape from your significant other, you know, for a weekend or something, do it for yourself. I'm, it's so liberating. I, I just can't even, I can't even, there's no word to describe what it, what it, what it has done for me. And now I see life, life is so different from my eyes than before. So different. I appreciate when it rains. <laughs> when it rains, I'm not complaining. I'm like, the rain means something. You know, the grass, the trees, the flowers, the animals, us. You know, we depend on water. We depend on the grass. And I appreciate that. You know, I don't complain. I'm grateful. Hallelujah. <laughs> if it didn't rain, yeah, we all be up here dead probably. <laughs> so, and even though I don't like bugs, I hate bugs. I'm, I'm terrified of bugs. I can't stand bugs. But you learn from bugs too. Isn't that crazy? You learn harmony and how to work with people, how to work together, you know, from bugs. It's crazy. Thank you so much, Rochelle, for your super chat. I appreciate it. But there are so many things that you can learn from van life. You can learn your capabilities, your limits, you know, your skills, you learn new skills. You meet wonderful people on the road. Wonderful, humble people of all walks of life are on the road. Humble. I mean, the most caring, most sharing, most giving people I have met has been on the road. No joke. <laughs> it's like we have our own... I don't know. It's like their own little world out there. You know, we all understand what we all are going through. And if there's, you see somebody over there that needs help or could utilize something, you know, someone's always around to help. Always people offering to cook you food. I mean, it's crazy. People will help you with, you know, a project in your van. I mean, oh my goodness. People will go fetch firewood for you. I've had so much, I've met so many wonderful people around North America in my van. It was a wonderful experience. And yes, there are moments where I do miss it. I do. When I be sitting here sometimes, I do miss being that freedom, that um, being out on the road, not having to clock in and clock out. I do, you know, miss that. But then at the same time, there's another chapter of my life that I have to work towards and I do need my job right now. So I just don't have that luxury <laughs> anymore. But I do have the luxury of part-timing when I do have the time to do that. Nomadic Bliss Van Life says, this life is definitely certain um, rewarding. It's very rewarding for your spirit, for your soul, for your mind. It is because guys, you know, I don't know what it is in the atmosphere. I don't know what it is that's going on in the world, but it just seems like people are just getting crazier and crazier. And um, so much darkness is being revealed to the world right now. So much is being revealed as the scripture says they would. So it's just about like, you know, 
I try my best not to get caught up in all of that. I try to keep my eye on what the most high wants me to keep my eye on and my energy where it's supposed to be, because we just don't want to get caught up in a lot of this darkness that's being revealed in the world is crazy. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Tanya. I am. I try to be. I try to be humble. I try to be grounded. And I try to go back and always um, I have a foundation that I base my spirituality on. And that keeps me grounded. And I don't always share that information because everyone has their own, you know, foundation, you know, and my foundation is what works for me. So, you know, the fruits of the spirit is one of them. Okay. So <laughs> it definitely takes um, effort to, to make those things, to implement the fruit of the spirit and to keep it and to not let the world drown you. But let's see. Y'all know I can't read. Y'all know I can't see, though. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, Susan Thomas says, congratulations on reaching 20,000 subscribers. I do enjoy your content. Thank you so much, Suzanne, for being here. Hey, Kathy. Hi, Kathy. How you doing? The darkness trying to pull the light out. But yeah. I am very spiritual in my life now. Amen. Amen to that. Well, you know, light always destroys darkness. So <laughs> once you start shining, that darkness runs away from you. So it's not welcomed in my home. <laughs> Never. Nope. You got to come in here correct because I can, I can feel people's energy. You got to come in here correct or you got to go because <laughs> I'm just a happy person. My job is going great. I have the best coworkers that I could have ever asked for. I have the best coworkers. I love the ladies that I work with that are on my team. And we joke, we laugh, it makes the day go by fast. I mean, it's, we're just a great team together, you know, a really great team. And that really helps me to, you know, get back into the swing of working a job, you know, and plus I'm by myself 98% of the time. I am alone. Literally. I was actually going to do a video about that, but I'm alone 98% of the time. So going to work, it gives me that human interaction and I get to interact with people that I enjoy being around, you know? And then when I go home, that's where I'm able to, you know, be alone again. And I have no problem with that. But I really am alone 98% of the time. <laughs> I, I go out to restaurants alone. I go shopping alone. I will go to the park alone. I go camping alone. I'm alone. And I'm okay with that. You know, there's times where I may feel like I want to be around other people. You know, and sometimes what I'll do is I'll find like an event that's local or something. I'll find an event to go to. And, but I would still be alone. But I would go to this event and I would be around other people and I don't have a problem talking to strangers. So that's sometimes how I get my human interaction in, interaction fixed when I, I'm feeling like I need to talk to another soul. <laughs> so that's just, it works for me. I am, I am an introvert, yes, but I still do need human interaction. I don't know. Are you who's a, I know there's lots of introverts on here. If you're an introvert on here, put a one in the comments. Put a one in the comments. And also, if you're an introvert, let me know what do you do to get human interactions and how often do you need it? See, we got some introverts. We got who's that lady? 
Cynthia's an introvert. Mary's an introvert. Oh, we got a lot of y'all. Okay, Linda, Brittany. Maybe that's why we all get along on this on this channel because we're introverts. I mean, you know, I just had a party in my apartment in front of a camera by myself, and I'm good. <laughs> I just stay home 99% of the time, says uh, Renvel. Cam, do you do your co-workers watch your channel? Um, I know one does. One, uh, which she's my team leader. She was subscribed to my channel before I even quit the job. So she's been following the journey for the whole time I've been gone for the whole two years. She still follows the channel, and um, she's probably going to watch this tonight if she's not watching this now. But thank you so much. I love you, girl. I love you, girl. <laughs> I love you, love you, love you. But when I'm at work, I don't really talk about my channel. I keep, I try to keep it separate. I really do. Because <laughs> at work, I don't know. I just kind of feel like people at work... I don't know. I don't really care if people are in my business. I don't really care what they say behind my back. I just don't care. So <laughs> I just don't care. But I try to keep it separate. So I don't go around my job talking about my YouTube channel. Let's see. TB Tomps says... Stay faithful, sis. You're just going through minor distractions from the enemy. The fact that you're mentioning the father shows you're mindful and wanting to stay faithful. Of course. Always. 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 Um, I don't know why. Congratulations. I do the same. Being by yourself 90% of your time. She goes, goes to events my people, just to get people interaction, go to events. So yeah, I do that too. It's, it's, you just meet just interesting people out. And I don't know, because when it's time to go, when I'll be, I'll be ready to go. I'll be, I'll be ready to go. Okay. It's time to go. And I don't want to be sitting around waiting on nobody else to go. Cause when I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go. <laughs> That's just me. So, <laughs> you know, I'm like, okay, I got my fix. Got my fix. Time to go home. Time to go home. As long as it's a safe place with good energy, good vibes, I'm, I'm gravy. So I'm kind of just, you know, I'm kind of like anticipating like what does St. Louis going to offer this summer? I don't know. And speaking of that, there are um, two places and I don't know when I'm going to go, but there are two places that I've already been that I want to go back to. And one of them is the Kittigo Farms in South Carolina. I love her. <laughs> I love her. She is, a, mm, yeah, we talked on the phone, so we still communicate, we still talk. And I cannot wait to go back to her farm and camp out there. And then also, I want to go back to um, Myrtle Beach. <laughs> Myrtle Beach was, it was, to me, it was the best beach I've ever been to. It was clean. It was nice. The The hotel that I was at was, was love. Oh, excuse me, was lovely. And I got, I felt, I didn't want to leave. Yeah, I didn't want to leave. I rented a room with the girl I was with. Well, we had separate rooms, but, and then she left and I was supposed to leave, but girl, I rented the room for like two, three more days because I didn't want to leave, but I had to leave because it was going to break me. <laughs> so I had to leave, but I loved Myrtle Beach. I loved just waking up in the morning getting your coffee, you know, walking down to the sand on the shore, just watching the sunrise, sitting there in the evening, watching the sunset. And the, the seagulls weren't, were not like bothering me. And it was just a beautiful, 
beautiful beach. So I definitely want to go back there too as well. Because now when I travel, I, I think I'm going to travel for peace of mind, <laughs> sightseeing, and you guys know I love my historical places. Will you ever go back to van life full time? Sorry if you've already answered that. I don't know. I'm just going to say I don't know what the future holds. I want to say I want to do it all, but I know I can't. And I, I still look at RVs. I still look at vans. I, I just don't know what the future holds. I really don't know. I'm going to take it one day at a time because I am at the point now where, you know, my van has, I, hit, I just hit 150,000 miles on my minivan. And so that's letting me know my van's getting older and vehicles do not last forever. Even though if you maintain them, I'm sure my van could probably last 100,000 more miles. But eventually, I mean, I'm going to have to get another vehicle. And I think about that too. Like what type of vehicle am I going to get? Because I got to be able to camp in it. And for I can't camp in it, can it pull something? So I don't know. You know, on top of me wanting to buy some type of stationary home um, in the future. So right now I'm just working towards fixing my credit. Like I said in one of my other videos, fixing my credit and saving my money and getting things in order so that when that time comes in my life, I'm ready to move forward. So that's just, you know, this apartment here. Mm, it's a decent apartment. I'm being grateful. <laughs> and, you know, it's decent. There's nothing luxury about it. And I'm not going to get up here and act like, you know, I'm just a normal down to earth girl. So I love my apartment. It doesn't have everything I wish it had, but I'm grateful to have what I have. Um, Granny, um, Granny Production says, I live in Illinois in the Midwest, but I travel every year to visit my family and home in Iowa or in Oregon. It's very historical. Yeah, I've been, I don't know what, maybe you have to email me and let me know um, some things that are historical there that I may want to check out one day because I do like going to historical places. I like history. I really do. Anna, Annie and Spence says, hey, at Life with Anthony. Hi, thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. Is Anthony on here? Where he at? Did I miss his call? Hey, hi, Anthony. <laughs> How you doing, Anthony? You should have been over here dancing with me, child. I was dancing on YouTube. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to look back at that and be like, girl, what was you doing? Because I don't know how to dance, y'all. <laughs> I don't dance, but I really wanted just to show you guys how happy I am that you're here, how much I appreciate all of you, and I'm just really at a happy place, and I don't know. I just really am. I'd be walking down the street. I'd be at Target. I'd be at Walmart. I'd be, no matter what, and I'd be, I'd be, I'd be, hi, hi. I'd be smiling because I'm just a happy person right now. I, I came a long way. <laughs> you know, you never judge a book by its cover. Never judge a book by its cover. So you never know what a person's went through to get to where they are. Someone said, Anthony, how you feeling? I don't know. Was Anthony sick? I know he had a car accident. Sorry about your car accident. I'm glad that you didn't get hurt or no one else got hurt. And um, yeah, and I hope that it all works out for you. I hope they're able to fix your vehicle um, as soon as possible. And I hope that they're able to fix it correctly, <laughs> you know. Don't do a quick job and patch it up. Fix it right. Yes, hallelujah. That's what I'm going to pray for for you, that they fix your car right. Is my job fulfilling? 
<laughs> yeah, it fills my checkbook. <laughs> It feels like checkbook, so I'm good. I mean, I have a good job. Um, you know, there's no perfect company, period. Even if you're an entrepreneur and working for yourself, it's not perfect, okay? There's going to be always aspects of what we do that we dislike and and things that we like. So, is my job fulfilling? Yes, it is. I'm going to say yes. I am where I'm supposed to be at the moment because in order to for me to move forward to get the things that I'm striving for, I I need income. It's just that simple. I don't want to be put in a situation where um my I'll say hypothetically, knock on wood, my van breaks down. What am I going to do if I don't have income or savings to pay for it? What am I going to do? That will crush my whole world, you know, if I didn't have the job. It would crush my whole world. So it is fulfilling. It's getting me where I want to be. And I like the company. I like my coworkers. There's plenty of room for advancement. Will I ever be a manager or supervisor? Never. <laughs> I, I've been a manager. I've been a supervisor. I do not like managing adults. They're the worst. Sorry. Mm -mm. Never again. Nope. I want to clock in, clock out, and be responsible for me and my work, period. And since I'm an introvert, I don't like to be on the phone all day. No. <laughs> so I need a job where I am not on the phone all day. <laughs> Someone says, say that again. I'm not sure what I said that you want me to say, say again, but... <laughs> But you, I, mm -mm, I will never manage adults. What you sipping on? <laughs> um, where did I get this? I, the wine that I like is Pinot Grigio. So I try to find a Pinot Grigio that's um, not that expensive. You know, I'll pay like $7.99. I'll even pay $5.99. And if I feel bougie, I may pay $9.99. So, but this is the wine that I like because it's not too sweet like Chardonnay or Zinfandel. It's, it's not as sweet. So, and I don't have a sweet tooth. So, yeah, that's the wine that I have been drinking on um, for quite some time now. So, yeah, guys, I'm about to take a nine hour trip to Georgia. And visit my sister, and I think she's gonna do a video with me. <laughs> okay, she's a little nervous, but I told her just be yourself. You know what I'm saying? Ain't that right, guys? Just be yourself, be who you are, and that's all you gotta do is just be who you are. So this is gonna be fun, and I get to see my mom and my nephews and my niece. Um Campbell's Creation says, I got a camper trailer to renovate. Excited to start a J. Cole Ego. Nice. I do, guys. I look through like Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace. I go, I just look, um, Facebook Marketplace. I look somewhere else too. But I do, I still look at campers, trailers, vans, you know, because I, you know, no matter what, no matter where I go or what happens, I will have a mobile home of some sort for that reason. I will always have that, I think, because I think to me, that's one of the best ways to travel. Because when you're in a plane flying, you don't see Jack. <laughs> you don't get to experience nothing. Okay. But when you're on the road, and you're traveling and you're driving, you can drive through the mountains, you know, you get to, an opportunity to see more of the land, you know, versus flying. 
And you know, I know how to stealth camp. I know how to do. I know how to do all of that. I've accomplished that. I've did that. <laughs> so, I think that you know, even if I when I do buy a house or land or whatever the case may be in the future, um, I will always have a, a mobile home of some sort. What will it be? I would actually prefer to have something where I can stand up in and something that has doesn't have to be extremely big or anything like that. But I think standing up, storage, cooking, um, shower, I can, you know, a shower, yay or nay, you know, there's plenty of places that you can take showers at. So that's not like something that I must have, but a toilet would be something that I would have to have. Um, AC and heat would be something that I would be, that I would have to have because being in my minivan, it's hard to regulate the internal temperatures of your vehicle. I don't care how many reflectors you put on your window. I don't care. It's hard to, um, with all those windows, you can't regulate the temperature in your vehicle um, that way. And I don't, I'm not going to install any um, diesel heater, none of that. I'm not going to install nothing in my van where it requires me to puncture holes in the frame of my van. Not doing it. Someone says, Cynthia says, how is your mom? My mom is retired and trying to keep herself busy. She recently rented a plot of land, um, like a community garden. So she's been um, keeping herself busy with her garden right now. And I think she turned my sister's house into a plant house. So <laughs> yeah, so she's, you know, doing what grandmas do planting things and feeding her grandkids, watching them while they sick. And um, yeah, so she's already got, and I told her I wanted, um, cause I've been having a craving for pork ribs. I've been having a craving for pork ribs and I don't eat pork. And I'm just like, I need to figure out how to get this fixed. And one time she made uh, barbecue oxtails and, and put barbecue sauce on them, baby, 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 baby. I don't know what she did to them grilled oxtails, but to me, they reminded me of pork ribs. So she's going to make me some barbecue oxtails when I'm there, and that way I can get my pork rib fix. <laughs> Oh, oxtails are have I love oxtails. They're expensive. They are, but I do love oxtails. They are so delicious. Um, Campbell says she has a generator, a fifteen hundred watt generator and a power bank five hundred, with solar panels two hundred watts plus a portable air conditioner and electric heater. I'm getting ready. Go ahead. Man, I need to figure out. I don't know what I'm gonna do this summer because I I've never been able to figure out the air conditioning. <laughs> I just never have. Like if I can go to you know in the in the winter, I can go to a campground and I got you know electric heater. I can plug you know heat myself up. That's easier for me to regulate. Um, you know, or not regulate. It's easier for me to deal with winter temperatures versus summer. Summer temperatures are very, very difficult. Um, when you're living in a vehicle, it's very, it's like you're living in an oven, pretty much. You're living in an oven. You're going to have to spend the majority of your time outside of your van, period, in the summer. Otherwise, you're going to cook yourself, okay? And I'm not cooking myself, <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, I wish, I don't know what to do about that. I just, I, I have no idea because them swamp, them swamp um, portable fan AC things are trash. Don't get it. Don't get it. I bought two. 
don't get it. It's not even worth your money, period. Don't buy it. Plus, if you're living in a place where there's a lot of humidity, um, you got to remember, okay, that stuff's going to create mold somewhere in your van. I'm just letting you know. I've, I've ex I, I'm speaking from experience. It's going to be mold. Oh, Brittany. Brittany, I wish says, I, I wish you, I wish you'd open to traveling a food truck. All your food you cook on your channel be looking good. Yeah, I, I, I do. Thank you so much. I'm going to say thank you first. Okay. Duh. Uh, thank you. I do like to cook, um, but I don't want to cook for a living. I like cooking for, it's just a, a hobby or not a hobby, but it's just something I enjoy doing. But I think that if I was to cook for a living, I would end up not liking it. And I don't want to take that away from me. Um, I did go to school to be a nutritionist, a dietetic technician I went to school for. And I worked in the food industry for, for a couple of years. And it's just not, food industry is not for me. That to me, that's that's slave work, y'all. People have no idea what people go through in the food industry, whether it's in healthcare or not. I was particularly in healthcare, but um, it's it just wasn't for me. So instead, I just cook on the channel and share with y'all. So. That makes me happy and that makes y'all happy. And I heard that a lot of y'all have tried that chickpea salad. Mm, I love that. That that chickpea salad is, I love it. I love it. I love it. Baja Queen. Hi, honey. How are you doing? Hi. Ah, oh, you should text me. Text me, girl. We need to catch up. I need to see how you're doing. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. But give me a call or text me so I can catch up and see how you're doing. Key Lee, Key is living, says, did I say your name right? K-E-E, because -E, y'all know I can't see. K-E-E -E says, congratulations on 20,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. My coworkers be laughing at me, y'all, when I be at work. <laughs> they be laughing at me. I be at work like up on the screen. You know, and I got these big screens. <laughs> I be mean, like, oh, yeah, don't be laughing at me. As long as I get the work done. <laughs> oh, oh, Edwin Sykes. Uh, thank you, Edwin. <laughs> Thank you, Ed. I'm not going to call you Ed. I'm going to call you Ed. <laughs> Ed, that is my nephew's and niece's dad. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'll be I'll I'll be in Georgia uh this weekend. I'll be in Georgia this weekend. Yep. Yes, Anthony was on here. I'm not sure if he's still here, but Anthony was on here. Last I seen on his video, he is at the hotel cooking some bland rice. <laughs> I was watching that video and I was like, Anthony, how much seasoning you going to put on that rice? Rice must have been bland, baby. <laughs> I was watching. I was like, oh, my goodness gracious. Winter is blue. Hi, Mateo. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I just love y'all so much. You guys. You guys keep me in the van life. Like, I watch your channels, love your new van. And I was cracking up at your video. I was watching it at work today when you showed the scene of your, your new van. When you was driving down the street and you showed the scene of the full van from the building windows. And I was like, look at him. <laughs> look at him. How blessed are you to get that van Unbelievable. That is so unheard of, Mateo. I hope that you, you thank the most high because what you got was, oh my goodness gracious, was an awesome blessing. 
an awesome blessing to get that van with that many miles. That is so awesome. And I hope you do get rid of that hornet's nest up in there because that would have freaked me the hell out. I ain't going to lie. I would have had to pull that van up to the police station and be like, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Your job is to serve and protect, right? Okay, well, I need protection. So can you serve me by removing this hornet's nest? <laughs> Even though nothing's probably in there, but that would have, I, I, I just probably wouldn't have been comfortable driving with that thing in there. <laughs> But that's what I'm saying. Someone said, uh, this is such a great community. We do. And I still watch you guys' videos. I still follow your journeys. I may not comment on them, but I give you guys thumbs up. I like it, you know, because I just love you guys. I feel like, Anthony, you my big brother, and Mateo, you my little brother. Hey. You know, and I got some sisters out there too. And I still follow, there's a lot of new people that are getting into van life as well. And I subscribe to their channels as to, to uh, blah, 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 blah. I subscribe to their channels as well. You know, there's um, a few people that I don't remember his name. I think I've only seen like one or two of his videos, but he's pretty new. He's got an accent or something like that. I don't remember his name per se, but I subscribe to his channel. There's another lady that traveling, um, travel snacks did, um, on her channel, an older lady. So I, I just love my van life community. I do. I do. Sometimes I'd be sitting there like, man, I wish I could be out there. I do miss some of those days. I really do. Van life can be addicting. And it's not for everybody. I'm just going to say it's not for everybody. But it can be very addicting. And it's just a wonderful experience. I know I was watching a news article, a news clipping. I think it was on YouTube. I think it was in California. Um, I don't know what city it was in California. But they're trying to crack down on people living in their vehicles, parking at the beaches, parking in parking lots, and things like that. And, you know, just watching that, and I think they're going to come out with some new regulations in California. I've never van life in California, so I'm not sure how, you know, van life is in California. But... Um, it just made me think like, I really admire, you know, like how Anthony does van life, you know, like he doesn't have to run around or find places to sleep at overnight. He is stationary, he's parked, he's content, you know, and I do like that part of van life. You know, for me, I was, I was everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I was everywhere. I was like, I got a minivan. I can pull up on a residential street and go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? Like I was everywhere because I desire to see things. You know, I desire to go see this, to go see that, you know, because before I never really traveled. I have only traveled like to go visit family and things like that. So I wanted to see these things. I wanted to experience the mountains. I wanted to be, you know, oh man, things I saw, wow. You know, bears, my goodness, Yellowstone National Park. I mean, Colorado is just gorgeous. Wow, I just seen so much and I wanted to see, but now that I've seen those things, it's kind of like, you know, going to a campground, being a little bit more chilled, being a little bit more relaxed might be my you know, my feel because I won't have to worry about where I'm going to park for the night or those things where I can just enjoy the camping experience. And it would be nice if I had something to stand up in. I actually thought about renting, <laughs> renting a van 
just to experience that life to see if I would like something like that, like a Sprinter van or something like that, just to rent one. I thought about it. I'm sure that stuff's expensive, but I thought about it. Let's see what we got here. I love you too, Ruby. Thank you so much. I like your traveling. Thank you. I remember your first RTR and I was so proud of you. I know. I was so nervous. Kenneth says, I remember your first RTR. I was nervous. I was like, I have never seen so many people in vehicles. Like, I was like, oh my goodness. And then I was like, where am I going to park? I don't know anybody. I, I don't know nobody. Where am I going to park? But what I did was I drove around until I found <laughs> other YouTubers. And I recognized them by their vehicles. So I was with what? Lady Bug Out. I was with um, Chantel from Van Life, uh, from My Basic Journey. Oh, what's her name? Oh, I forgot her name. The black girl that had the two cats. She was in theater or something like that. I forgot her name. She's not doing this anymore, but I forgot her name. Um, yeah, and a few other people. So I got to camp out with them, you know, while I was at the RTR. And it was a wonderful experience. Wonderful experience. Thank you so much. Thank you, Millard. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. You guys are the best. You guys are awesome. <laughs> you guys are so awesome. You guys make, yeah, Don, Donna Van Life. Thank you so much. I knew somebody was going to remember because you know what I'm saying, girl. I knew somebody was going to remember. Yeah, Don on Van Life. She quit her channel and I think that she has a faceless channel now. Um, I'm not sure what her faceless channel is, but I think that was one of her last videos is she wanted to do a faceless channel, which I understand because being a content creator, it's a lot of work. People just don't realize it's a lot of work. It's not just what, you know, it's not just, oh, turn on the camera. Ooh, it's a lot of work. Uh, Katrina says, Avia, talk, traveling, talk to traveling is doing, is doing a live. Oh, Oh, you want me to talk her into doing a live? Okay. I think Anthony knows her more than I do. <laughs> you can get Anthony to talk her into um, doing a live, but she's doing her thing over there in the desert. She got her a little tiny house and she's really doing it over there. She's taking it one day at a time, you know, taking it one step at a time. She's not it doesn't appear to be like she's like rushing or trying to stress herself to perfection. She's really taking her time and enjoying the experience. Come on, Kathy, do it live. <laughs> What's your zodiac sign? I am a Gemini. Okay. Okay. Hence why I can't stick to one thing. I'm a Gemini. That's just what I do. My mind is always curious. Um, can you recommend any other van lifers on YouTube to follow? Oh my goodness. There are so many, there are so many newcomers. I basically, oops, the main ones that I basically follow, and I'm just going to be honest, I'm sure most of you already follow them. One is, is, is Anthony. I follow Anthony, life with Anthony. Um, I follow Winter is Blue, actually, and I follow Benjamin. Um, he part-time van life, living his best life. I just think I, I give him all the credit in the world for what he does at his age. And he is just, you know, he's doing what he wants to do from his heart, period. And I can, I can see that. And he enjoys it. So I support him on his journey. You know, he does it part-time. He's a senior citizen. He works a part-time job. He has a wife, grandkids. 
you know, but he still makes time to get that van together and get out there. And whether he stays the night or not, he goes out in that van and does what he what he feels in his heart to do. And it makes him happy. He wants to live his best life. And I support that. I follow Nomadic Introvert. And she just bought a, a car. So, um, and I follow um, Where Is Brittany? And I think she's on a cruise right now. So I do have um, my favorite van lifers that I follow. And like I said, there's a bunch of new people that are coming out um, with van life videos. And, you know, so I follow some of them. I'm not sure what their names are yet and, you know, how that everything's going to go. But, um I like to support other YouTubers because it is a, this is a, it's a tough job. And I like, I do like to support other YouTubers. Nomadic introvert is awesome. Yes, she is. Winter is blue is awesome. And I tell winter is blue. I tell Mateo, I said, just don't stop making them sandwiches because he be making some sandwiches. And I'd be like, my goodness. I never even thought of a sandwich like that. And I, I keep telling myself, I'm actually going to take one of his sandwich recipes and make it myself because his sandwiches be looking like it belongs in a daily shop. <laughs> get, get Weird says, hi, Abby. I follow all of them, especially my new friend, Benjamin. I love following your journey. Yes, yes. Benjamin is awesome. And thank you for subscribing and being a part of our family here. I appreciate it. The pork belly sandwich looked amazing. Yes, it did. All of his sandwich looks amazing. It's like, um, yeah, all of them. And Baja Queen says, I prefer channels that are not secretive. I'm not sure what that what you mean by that. Yeah, the ethic explorer. That's who the the new one one of the new persons that I am following is the ethic ex, uh ethic explore. I hope I said that right. Yeah. I just I don't know. I like his accent. <laughs> yeah, winter is blue. We'll make you, Mateo will make you hungry. That is for sure. And so will Abia. And so will Anthony. <laughs> That's one thing we all do. We should all three get together and just have a, like a cook out. Oh, that would be fun. Yeah. Okay. Barnell Livingston says, don't forget to thumbs up the video, y'all. Look, it is a Thursday night, guys. I've had such a wonderful time being with you guys, communicating and thanking you for everything that you have done for this channel, for me and for one another. You know, because I'm sure that you guys read the comments as well and people. Oh, one thing I do want to say before I I get into all of that. One person asked me, how was my solar panel doing on the top of my roof of my car? And I did a video not too long ago. Well, when I put it up there, I did a video because that was my second solar panel. That was a 200 watt solar panel that I put on the roof of my car and the wind blew it off and broke it. 200 watts, gone. So, and this is what I mean about you guys giving me wonderful tips and wonderful suggestions. Um, a subscriber had told me suggested that I buy Butte tape. I forgot how to spell it. I have to look at my Amazon like order history, but told me to buy that and to use that to put, um, to secure my solar panel down on top of the vehicle, on top of the roof. And I did that with the Butte tape and I put a uh, Gorilla tape as well. And guys, that solar panel ain't going nowhere. 
it is still on top of my van. It's been through rain, snow, hail, wind. It's been through, and it's still there. And it's secured. Now, the only thing I don't know is if I take it off, did it do any damage to the exterior of the van? I don't know that yet. But it, it's still there, and it worked. So I don't know which video. It's somewhere in my video feed. If you are curious about how to hook up a solar panel on top of your roof without cutting holes in your vehicle, <laughs> You can check that video out. I did want to address that because that was something that someone had asked. And I think, you know, starting this lifestyle, everything I learned was from someone else. And so I just wanted to um, address that. So hopefully you're watching. And if not, you're watching today. Hopefully you're watching tomorrow and you got your answer. Okay. Okay. But other than that, guys, ah, 20K, 20K. 20K, 20K. Okay. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. I am going to go because I got to eat. <laughs> it is 8.20 my time in Missouri and I got to eat, guys, and I'm going to have some dinner. I've been meal prepping and I have a video. I have a video for you all. It's already done. It's actually been done for about, a, about four or five days now. <laughs> But I wanted to do the live first before that video came out. So um, I do have that coming up. And I do have another video that I need to edit. And then um, hopefully me and my sister will do what we got to do. But uh, I'm thinking that I will probably release this video either Saturday or Sunday. Um, I prefer you guys to have time to watch it on the weekend because it's an hour long. <laughs> Sorry, it's an hour long, you know what I'm saying? I'm by myself 98% of my time. So I decided, uh, yeah, y'all can come chill out with me in my kitchen while I meal prep. So that's what I did. Anyways, thank you guys so much. I love you all. I love your support. Thank you for being here from the bottom of my heart and all of my heart. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel and being here and supporting the journey. And this is just wonderful. And let's continue to grow, okay? Let's continue. We're going to continue because um, yeah, ain't going to give up, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. So I am going to cut it out at this point you guys. And I hope that you all have a wonderful evening, okay? Go tuck them babies in bed. <laughs> Okay, God bless you guys. I love you and I will see you guys on the next video. Shalom. Love you. Bye.